dividing fractions is very closely related to multiplying fractions. So let's talk about how to do that. So before we divide a fraction, let's talk. About, let's just quickly define the reciprocal of a fraction. When we ask the reciprocal of a fraction, so say we have a over b, all we're simply asking for is for you to flip the fraction. So the reciprocal of a fraction is to just make the denominator into the new numerator and the new numerator into the new denominator. So just to flip the fraction. With that being said, if we want to divide the fractions a over b divided by c over d, we're going to follow one rule. That is, the, fr the first fraction stays the same, a over b. The division sign is going to become a multiplication sign. And then the last fraction, we're going to find the reciprocal of that. So that's going to be d over c. And that's it, easy as that. So let's talk about how to apply this. So I'll give you some examples. So say we have 8 sevenths divided by 2 ninths. What we're going to do is we're going to leave the first fraction the same, change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and flip the second fraction. Once we're here, we can just go ahead and multiply the same way that we've multiplied before. So we're just going to multiply straight across. 8 times 9 over 7 times 2. You can rewrite 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, and 9 as 3 times 3, and then 7 times 2, and you can reduce one of the 2's. So your final answer is 36 over 7. Okay, let's try another one. 4 ninths divided by one half. I'll leave that one for you to try. Negative 10 over 4 divided by 2 over 9. I'll leave that one for you to try. I'll give you one more to try which is negative 2 thirds times 9 over 14 divided by 7 over 15. So this one you can do uh, by multiplying first, then dividing, obviously, because the multiplication is in parentheses. And I will do one with variables for you. So I will do 3y over 4 divided by 5y cubed. And what I'll do is, I know that 5y cubed is the same thing as 5y cubed over 1, because I can write any whole number over 1. I'm going to use that to rewrite my fraction as 3y over 4, times, because my division sign becomes a multiplication sign, and my second fraction gets flipped. Okay, and now once I'm here, I'm going to start using a couple of shortcuts. Um, so, I know that this 3y times 1 over 4 times 5y cubed, I know that one of these y's is going to cancel out with one of these y's, and I'm going to be left with two y's. So my final answer is going to be 3 over 20y squared, and that's it. I can also have you evaluate expressions. We've done this before, so I can ask you to evaluate I can ask you questions like, is negative 9 eighths a solution? 2, 2x equal to negative 9 over a quarter, and what you would do here is you would say, okay, 2 times parentheses equals negative 9 over 4, my parentheses here is negative 9 over 8, this 2 should really be over 1, and then you can simplify the left, and the left will simplify to be 2, negative 2 times 3 times 3, because that's what 9 is, over 1 times 2 times 2 times 2. These 2's would cancel out. The left side then simplifies to negative 9 over 4. 
the right side is also negative 9 over 4. So yes, negative 9 over 8 is a solution to that equation. You can try more problems like these out in your textbook.